Hi everyone. Today we will look at document setup, which is a very important step when you are creating any kind of document. To do that, you go to File, select Document Setup. And here you are with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different uh, tabs that will determine the way your document looks. In the first tab, document, now I have selected whole document. This applies to everything because this is a general approach. Whereas you can select masters and spreads as well, to which we will come later. Now you can, we are looking at individual pages instead of uh, spreads. And the page size here is a preset templates, page size templates. And as you click, you can see dynamically uh, the way it looks changes in, in this, uh, in the top screen. And uh, again, in the document tab, you can select the document unit inches here. Now, DPI, I would leave it at 300. That's a pretty good resolution, uh, both for printed and online documents. Image placement, should your images be linked or embedded with the document? If it's embedded, that will increase the file size. And if it's linked, it will reduce the overall document size. But then you have to be careful to include your images in the same folder, in the same location that they were when you created the document. So the image link will not be broken. We will go through this later as well. Now model facing pages or single pages, uh, horizontally or vertically, and whether your document, if it has facing pages will start on the right side page or left side page for some reason. Almost all documents traditionally start with a right side page. So I would leave it as is. Uh, dimensions, you can change the uh, dimensions and make them custom through these horizontal vertical fields. And you can link them or unlink them, the two dimensions, so that they will be proportional or not. And you can select portrait versus landscape very easily from here. Now scaling, I'll leave it to a, a different discussion. Color, very simply, if it's going to be an online document, I will leave it with RGB. And if it's going to be printed, I would select uh, CMYK, uh, CMYK8, which is the, the most common uh, printing color format. Margins, you can change the margins here by again uh, making them uh, linked to each other, proportional or not, when you are changing. So this is the inner, for example, you can select one inch and then go and select outer inches. Uh, the, the color of the grid, you can select from here, the outlines of the margins. And bleed is what you need if you want your images spread out all the way to the physical edges of a page. So uh, you need to have this little outer area, bleed area, so that uh, when cut, the page is cut, your, your images will look just uh, fine. And when you're done, you can click OK. And your page, this kind of looks a little off because we had too much margin on the right hand side. And here it is the bleed area. This is how, how much your images need to go outside, just slightly outside the uh, 
edges of your physical page so that when cut they will look very nice uh, all, all the way to the end of the page. So the, these are your basic uh, document, document setup uh, values and as I said you can reach this uh, very important screen from file uh, document setup. I see you in the next video. Take good care.